Alright, right where we left off, though, <laughs> once again, a little time's passed. Long enough for me to re uh, forget that if I open that door, I have to actually run through it. <laughs> Alright, so we were visiting the town. Now that things have probably changed a little. Tell may it be, but we cannot leave their sides. Wait, can I go back here? No. these out real quick. I think this is a big part of the game. Well, well, if it isn't our shining ray of hope. I sure would like to be called that once. You listening? I'm sorry, we are of no use. Everyone in my family is out working. So we cannot care for our sick. But since the chieftain opened his estate to the sick, at least I can get some work done. Hope things are get better soon. So, yeah. Mom's here. What'll become of the village? I wonder if those people will stay asleep until they die. Then what will become of us? Don't worry now. That's why we have a cocoon master. The chieftain said Jabara... Oh, the chieftain and Jabara have taken care of it. I hope you're right. But didn't the minstrels talk about the tragedy of Gehenna all over again? Say, is your son alright? Don't tell me he's going to run away too. Don't say that. He hasn't run away. That's right, isn't it? Your husband, he'll come back, won't he? Well, I... Oh, Colia. Still working hard, right? You will determine the fate of the village. Remember, we have placed our faith in you. What's the matter? You didn't come all this way to see me, did you? Your mother is right here. Is your work going well? You need not worry about me. You try and save the village as soon as possible. You see? Your mother says the same thing. Stop hanging around here and go get that herb. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is important. Goofy's here. Huh? Louie, that's his name. Birdman of the Dragonfly Forest? Can't help you there. Well, let me tell you, he'd be no match for Kelmar, no matter how strong he says he is. Right, Kelmar? <laughs> you idiot! That's enough already! So you're going into the forest in search of that guy? 
You're not gonna kill him, are you? You won't be able to get that powder if you do. Good luck bringing that stuff back from Kikinak. And tell me all about it when you get back. No, I just... I just want to know what he's like. Well, that's an odd interaction. <laughs> he acts like he knows Kikinak. So, you are the head, uh, you are to head into the Dragonfly Forest now, eh? Well, at least most of these are quick. Have you been training at all? That Dragonfly Forest is one mean place. You'll learn something as an apprentice of the Blue Cocoon Master, won't you? It does make me think that I need to train before going in there. I wouldn't mind trying to catch a couple more things. I think all I can catch at this point is like alternative elements of the things I've already caught. Kind of like how that, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. Turf Raid. How his element changed uh, into the wind one when I changed screens. Like there's probably more of that to be found. Listen to the legend of Volcano already, right? <laughs> I think that was the first one. We definitely haven't heard about the Birdman. Once upon a time in a faraway village, there lived a woodcutter who always boasted of his strength. It is said that the woodcutter wanted to test his own strength by felling the tallest tree in the forest. He hastily ventured deep into the forest in search. Meanwhile, the forest told the great tree of the woodcutter. The great tree sighed deeply, lamenting his foolishness, and he continued to sigh. And before long, the breath of the great tree became a thick and heavy fog which shrouded the forest. The woodcutter soon lost his way. He grew so tired wandering about that he soon took a short rest. Just then, sweet-smelling fluffs began to float down from above. All who would smell their sweet scent would fall fast asleep. The woodcutter couldn't help but to fall in a deep slumber, and there he lay snoring great snores in the middle of the forest. For three days he slept. On the morning of the fourth day, a bird man flew down to where he lay. He spoke to him. I'm the strongest, you always say. One fight with me, if you may. But the woodcutter remained fast asleep. You can try to sleep if you must, but I shall wake you with my dust. As he spoke those words, the birdman sprinkled a glistening white powder upon the woodcutter. With that, the woodcutter sneezed a great sneeze and jumped to his feet. The surprised woodcutter shouted, Who on earth are you? I warn you, I am incredibly strong, and I will battle right now. The birdman replied, You can't defeat me, but if you do, we can be friends, and I'll share my powder with you. It cures all illness and turns old to new. 
I got it from the forest people called the Yamu. <laughs> the woodcutter tried to grab the bird man. But the woodcutter had been asleep for three days. He was too hungry to hold on. With one flap of his mighty wings, the bird man blew the woodcutter all the way back to the village. The woodcutter told the villagers all about the strange bird man. But not a soul believed him. From that day on, the woodcutter never again boasted of his strength. Come on, dude. Get in there and rematch after a good meal. Understand? The divine tree of the forest is an incarnation of Elrum. You must never think of harming it. It is always watching over us. There are many other tales with the bird man. It seems they all say that he hates fire. Mm. Perhaps he was barbecued in a previous life. <laughs> it's my barbecue. All right, real quick. So what? Because they made you for the sake of the village. Oh, he's saying something there. You must not think that way. Many years ago, the children of the village used to come to hear my stories. You were one of them. Okay, so he was asking us about what we're doing. I'm going to hit this one again, see if it's the same. If so, I'll just skip it, but I just wanted to make sure. This is a tale of the kingdom of Gehenna Pali that stretched across these lands. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Once upon a time, Prince Menek. Yeah, okay. Let's get that. Oh, shut up, dog. Nobody likes you. That was cool. I like that story stuff. Um, I was just thinking, like, that's something that's been lost to us, isn't it? You don't really hear stories like that or fables from the mouth. I don't know. It's better to just read a book, right? <laughs> That's what people pretend, uh, prefer to do at least. Oh, so you are to go to the Dragonfly Forest, are you? A perilous place that is. Tread carefully. Well now, let us play a song the bird of the Birdman for you. Alright, Yazoo? Wait. Is there such a song? Deep within the dragonfly forest, the white forest steps. The white forest is the forest of sleep. The dragonfly forest is the forest of sleep. The dragonfly forest is the forest of the birdman. <laughs> I, I can't think of the birdman without thinking of Harvey Birdman. Sprinkle the power, wake the sleeping. Powder, powder. <laughs> There we go, slurring words again. Calabas. Oh, that is the herb of life. They say it can cure any disease. I know not where it may be found. But then again, even weeds will cure you if you believe in them. They say the mind rules the body. Yeah, that's actually true. So perhaps this calabas is an herb that grows inside people's hearts. Uh, what's the word for that again? Oh, it's placebo. Calabas. Forest gates. Okay, well that's all of them. So, hmm, I am a little torn whether I should go back to the Beetle Forest to train a bit or not. I, yeah, I got the key to the Dragonfly Forest. Uh, well, let's save. 
regardless. I've got full HP, 12 empties. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to spend the rest of this episode in the Beetle Forest training up. I think we'll start the next episode if all goes according to plan. Uh, dipping our toes in the Dragonfly Forest to see how tough those are. But if I was to guess, I'd say they'd be around level 5. And my creatures just hit level 5, so... Yeah, a little bit of training probably won't hurt. Plus, I'm a cat. Well, actually, I'm a capture about everything I see. Oh, is this the sword? It's. I I don't know what that kind of weapon is called. A chat? It's not a chastis, is it? Something like that. Acestus. Hmm. Oh. It's probably not right. It's a bladed knuckle duster. There we go. Uh, capture. Oh, this is the lightning one. Cool. I'd like to spin a couple of these as well, just to make some money. Capture level 6. Also, these capture levels might help me with capturing what I find inside the uh, Dragonfly Force because. Um, just because I can kill them, I still want to capture as much as I can when I get there. Mm, I guess I'm just running around looking for things. We don't need this guy, we'll kill him. Or we can, yeah, we'll capture it just to sell it. Hmm, this is iffy. Like one more hit will probably kill it. Uh, with that in mind, I'm pretty sure, because we've already done 22 damage in two hits, the next one would probably kill it. So we're just kill it with a monster instead so we don't lose out on anything. Maybe if it survives this attack then we'll capture it. But doubtably. Oh yeah, I need to use other ones besides Sheldon. Sheldon's already pulling ahead of all my other guys. catch him right now. God. Shut up, dog. getting much experience now. That's actually a good sign. It means uh, we're probably at a good level compared to this place. Let's go kill this guy. What's he doing? He's like blocking or something.
Yeah, I think level 5 for each of them. Basically when I fill up all these cocoons should be fine and then we'll head to the dragonfly forest so not a bad call. Catching a couple, no, couple more turf rain or turf raid. That's it. It's got a D. There's also these little snake things. Go ahead and capture this one. He's already low. Now we'll just do the loop. Wow, the next one probably will kill it. Hmm. I just did, what, 13 damage there? Alright. Bring out the UG and get some hits in. Four. Special. Let's use his horn attack. Okay. I want to compare it to the other one. I use his uh, fang attack next. Let's see if the attacks are any different with the animations. I don't even care if this is a bad element. <laughs> I think my guys are fine. I mean, I got quite a couple levels on them now. Fang attack. Yeah, it was a different attack. If I visit Chorus again, too. Maybe I have something else to say, or maybe there's treasure in his house. <laughs> Exactly, just a, one of the ants. I don't think it's in. It's new. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. I wouldn't mind catching the petamel. The other one can die. All right, we use uh, hmm. Ugg? No, Asher. Actually, if I use his fire magic. 
I might be able to weaken the other one for me too. Without killing it. Uh, oh yeah, that's fine. That actually didn't do that much. We'll do it one more time. That did 15 damage though. Hmm, never mind. Yeah, okay, we'll do it again. Maybe it'll live. I hope it does. Nope, died. Oh well. It's going to get a lot of experience. Good. Attack and defense. Bunch of health. Start raid. Definitely want to catch this. This is level three. It doesn't matter who I use. I use Sheldon. Here's the good question: Is Sheldon stronger or weak against this guy? <laughs> the Earth element should be better against the water that we have, but we've also got Earth. Not sure how that mixing works. Uh, just attack. Did 11 damage. Eleven again. Next one should go to 28. Yep. At least it's consistent. 17. Ah, oh, did 12 damage. One more will be fine. As long as it don't crit. Definitely want to fill up all eight of those before going back. I think I might do a little of that off camera after this episode. I'll just, I mean, if I catch anything new, I'll add it, but we haven't run into anything new yet. The Lion of Peril. That is the name of a legendary black lion, strong in body and spirit. Here in Peril. It is a title reserved for men of the highest character. The forest gives us both mystery and discovery. On behalf of my comrade, Briquettes, I shall initiate you on the arts of the Cocoon Masters. Uh, is it just the same stuff? We also served Elrim as envoys of the Forest Spirits. My friend Riquettes was a magnificent cocoon master, worthy of the name Lion of Peril. Surely he shall return someday, for he must fulfill his promise to your mother, Theo. Until then, you must devote yourself to becoming a great cocoon master in your own right. <laughs> okay, just a little extra info. Remember. Oh, he said something. <laughs> Remember! Don't ever forget it. It's the last time I'll tell you. Any chance I can go up that ladder? Nah, I can't get around them. Okay. 
so it's about time to end this episode what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, just capturing these additional eight guys if I happen to find something that is uh, unique I'll record it in the next episode otherwise we'll just skip to the dragonfly forest uh, so you probably won't be missing anything at all but uh, that's the end of this one uh, take care guys later